and welcome to your gold market update for today monday the 17th of october we hope you're well we hope you had a great weekend let's see what's happening in these volatile markets right now of course on friday it continued to swing wildly in the us and close lower on continued inflation and recessionary concerns earnings pessimism and the bond yields topping four percent again essentially what happened was we gave up all thursday's strong gains to finish the week lower across all indices us futures are up slightly however in asian trading but asian indices are trading lower following that weak us lead from friday asx is down more than 1.5 percent at this stage with all the sectors in the red european equity futures are also pointing to a lower open to continue the general malaise the us dollar index is lower in asia so far some strength in the commodity based currencies but bear in mind this is on the back of a strong usd on friday gold is retesting 1650 and also dropped to the lowest levels of last week copper holds 340 and the vix remains high and still above that key 30 level it's no respite for bitcoin that's still range bound it is still over 18,600 support around about 19,000 at this stage in the trading day a fairly quiet day today today we've got chinese trade balance numbers out and of course we've got earnings season in the us ramping up this week it's likely to be the major influence on sentiment as we've already said we've got some general pessimism in terms of what earnings will deliver not only in terms of the bottom line numbers but forward guidance as well so it remains to be seen whether the recent drops in equities are met by valuations or whether there's still more to come a couple of charts to look at today the quarter all right uh, we're going to start by looking at the kiwi yen you can see here on the daily chart we are trading around the 200 ma we'd probably wait until we breach 83 cents you can see it was a key level back in august here uh, and if we should get a move up you can see there's a few wicks tested 83.72 as a high point uh, this was certainly the case on friday but since then we've been pretty range bound not only in asia today but also towards the back end of the friday session so being patient for 83 makes sense and then a possible move up towards this 8360 level with stocks there's a couple that are interesting on the asx but Qantas are probably the one that's still catching our eye you can see here after last week's jump back to 580 we've struggled to break through that but we are slightly higher today you can see the importance of this level if we just put it on a line chart back to april 2022 when we're last at this level and if we take it out even further you can see there it was also an issue around this level in september 2021 and the back end of 2019 so Qantas look poised for a reasonable move higher but again it's worthwhile being patient to see if we can breach this key level so perhaps a move around about 580 to 583 would suggest that we're now ready to break this uh, certainly waiting towards the back end of the day to see how markets pan out is prudent and as with anything that you're looking at at the moment just be aware that these are high risk markets trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now